everyone welcome back to my channel and in this video I am going to introduce you to again one of the latest offering from OpenAI. So you must have heard about the Swarm. So Swarm is the one which was released by OpenAI and you can consider it as the largest or the greatest AI tool provided by OpenAI. And what this tool does is it provides you the the framework which can interact with the agents in a very seamless way with very less lines of code so if you want to explore this particular thing what you can do is you can go and quickly search for swarm and it will give you the very first link so this is the github repo and here you can see it is still in experimental mode so definitely it is not recommended for production usage but of course, we can go and play around and by the time we can expect that soon it will be production ready. So in order to get started, first of all, you need to go ahead and install this package. So I'm going to do this in the entire video. What I'm going to explain you is I will explain you how you can get started with Swarm and what all things it can do for you, how agents interact using this Swarm. So that's what I'm going to show you today. So this is the first thing. So I have already set Azure Open, uh, sorry, OpenAI's key in my environment variable. And now I'm installing this particular package. So it is not exactly the package which is available publicly because like I said, it is still in experimental mode. So we have to go with that uh, GitHub repos link. So let's give it a few seconds and it should be ready for us. Okay, by the time it is installing, we can go ahead and start importing our packages. So the package which we need here is Swarm. Okay, well, it's done. I'm going to collapse it. Okay, so now I'm saying from Swarm, import Swarm as well as uh, agent. So we need two different things. Then we need to construct the client object, which can be done using the Swarm class. So I'm going to do that here. So these are two things. Next thing, I'm going to define uh, an agent, which will just rephrase the text what we are giving. So for defining the agent, what we can do is you can just create a variable. Let's say I'm saying rephraser agent. And then I'm using agent class, which is going to take few parameters. The first parameter is name. So here you need to provide the name of your agent. So I'm saying rephraser, let's call it rephraser. And then we need to provide the instruction. So instruction is like what this agent is going to do for us. So uh, here we can say, uh, you can format the given text in more of a professional way. Let's keep it simple. Uh, I would simply say you can format the given text in a professional way. So that's the only text I would like to supply here. So once we have this rephraser agent defined, next thing is we need to create a function which is going to return this uh, agent whenever we need it. So for that, what we can do is I'm going to say def uh, transfer, we can define transfer to rephraser agent. So this function is going, whenever we got a call for the rephrasing the text or for rephraser agent, this function is going to redirect uh, the call to this particular agent and nothing much so here i am saying transfer to rephraser agent and here we will go ahead and return our rephraser agent so that's the one line we need another thing is now we have the rephraser agent we need to go ahead and associate this function to this so that system will get to know that okay this function is available with this agent so for doing that what we can do is we'll say rephraser agent dot add i mean dot functions dot append and in this append we will define this particular or mention this particular function now we are good with our setup next thing is we need to define messages which is the usual way how we used to interact with the open ai so i would say messages 
equal to and here I need to define the role so the role would be user and let's say content and here we can supply some string which this agent can rephrase it for us so I can say today is very sunny day and anyone would love it let's keep it like this today is very sunny day and anyone would let's keep it like this and we want this agent to rephrase it in much better way for us so now we have this message defined we need to associate this message with the client object which we have created uh, on this uh, second line so here now I'm saying let's create a variable named response and we'll say client dot run and inside this we, we can pass all these parameters so let's first define the agent agent would be our rephraser agent and then we need to define messages sorry so here I am passing messages which we just defined above now we have this let's quickly go ahead and print this for us so that we can have a look at the output so I'm going to looks like I did some mistake here we need to add comma as well so this is the reply uh, let me quickly reduce it a bit so I'm going to give minus one I believe because it is the last content okay so the minus one and then content so it should give us just one line now okay so this is how it rephrased so today is a beautiful and sunny day that everyone is sure to appreciate and it has done very nice job in rephrasing this so in this particular example we have taken just one agent now what if you want to define multiple agents so for that what we can do is let's go ahead and define another agent and I would call it as a formatter agent uh, which is going to just format the text by adding some stars uh, into our text so that's what we are going to do here name equal to and here we can name it as formatter then we need to define the instructions again how we did in our rephraser uh, agent so here I would say you can format the given text by appending uh, stars in between let's keep it simple stars and between so whatever the text we are giving it will just go ahead and append some stars to it so and let me copy this one as well okay let me define it rather than copying it so I need to define the similar function which is for transfer to formatter agent and here I would say return formatter agent so I have defined this now I need to associate this function uh, with the client as well as uh, along with this rephraser agent so what we are going to do here is we will go ahead and as we have already created the rephraser agent we will add one more function to it because here you can say it is having append so let's let me copy this one and add this new function to it so instead of rephraser I would say transfer to formatter agent now what we have done is we have associated both the functions to this rephraser agent now if I'm going to run the same thing again with the same message so let me run this so this is my message I'm going with the same text uh, I need to little bit tweak this so instead of simply saying the text I would say I need to rewrite this in a better way or rather doing this I would first show you this case so I have an agent which is already part of the client which is rephraser agent 
which is having a function uh, transfer to refreezer agent. Similarly, I have another function which another agent which is formatter agent, and I am adding that formatter agent function to the same refreezer uh, agent. Now we have two agents and we have associated two functions to the single client of Swarm. So now if I'm going to execute this one, let me quickly run this. So in the first instance, we have seen that it has rephrased it. But in second instance, when I'm saying the same input, when I'm giving the same input, I'm getting the stars in between. It means now it went ahead and executed my, uh, the second one, which is the formatter one. Now, in this case, it is not sure what needs to be done or how needs to be done. So one thing you need to be very careful is either you define your functions very clearly or you provide extra instructions in your like while providing the content. So now in this case, if I am saying uh, let's let me give this one again. So I need to rewrite this in a better way. And if I'm executing this now, you will see that it will not execute with star rather it just rephrase it and how it identified this is based on my this line so if your functions are very different then there is no problem at all but in my case when i'm giving a string it could be a possibility that it could rephrase or it could add stars so it is very confusing that's why i have given an additional instructions instruction here but in your case if you have clear segregation like transfer to um, translate to french translate to english get me the weather report what is the temperature of this if you have such clear segregation then you need not to provide this one and this particular client the swarm client will automatically select or detect the agent which can invoke the required functionality so this is the beauty of the agent so next thing is uh, there are a few more things which you can do it let's say you want to pass in some parameters so rather than typing i can quickly point you here so they have provided some samples already you can definitely go through these so this is one important thing let's say you have created a chatbot or the agent and you want to say hi to the user so instead of simply saying hi how can i help you you can just provide the name of the user like hi shweta how can i help you so in this case you need to parameterize the things so that you can pass in the user who has logged in or the user with whom you have check uh, chatting so what you can do is for that sake you have the concept of context variable so context variable is nothing but you can take it as a dictionary which is having a key value pair and the information which is saved now this dictionary you can create in any way you can fetch it from the database you can hard code it or you can get it from your json file you can parse your data or from wherever you are getting the idea here is to get that context variables in the form of a dictionary so now in this uh, sample what they are doing is they are saying help the user and the username do whatever you want so this is the context variable and they are passing it along with this particular uh, run function so in run function till now we were just passing agent in the messages but now you can also pass in your dictionary so in this case it's just a one uh, name but if you have multiple values you can also pass that here and the system will automatically detect and will make a function call now another uh, thing i want to highlight here is in the agent you have the instructions so instructions could be your function or even you can pass in some string value over here so anything would work interesting thing one more i want to show you is the function calling feature so here you can see that it's not only about instruction you can also define your own functions own python functions and get associated with the agent so in this case what they are doing is they are greeting in a different way wherein they are passing like multiple uh, well um, uh, they are passing the context variables they are fetching the username and then they are constructing the greeting so this is the function and similarly you can have your own function wherein you want to do something else whether you want to make a call to a database or you want to fetch data from your rest api whatever you are doing you can similarly define your function over here and just point it to this particular functions uh, collection here so if you have multiple definitely you can separate them by comma and add it in this dictionary and everything will work seamlessly now the only thing here is make sure to pass the context otherwise it will not grab these variable or the values from anywhere and so in this case it has created this greet function passed it here 
or associated with the functions collection and then they are getting the output as hola john so similarly you can do it there are a lot many things which you can do it how you can do update your variables that you can check it out even if you want to see how you can streamline your response so rather than getting a everything in one shot you can get character by character or the in chunks using this particular thing by setting the stream equal to true so i believe this is a very good framework because if you will look at our code it's like very simple and whenever we are having a functionality we just need to define similar kind of function and then append it to this so these are the only two things which uh, these are the only three things we need to do define your new agent create a function and then add that function to your existing agent so that's all you have to do and i think that makes our code very very simple so let's wait until it is production ready so that we can use it in our applications i hope you enjoyed watching this and stay tuned for my next video because i'm going to tell you how you can utilize this particular swarm agent framework using olama on your local machine it means you need not to use open ai or anything but everything you can do it locally on your own machine so for that stay tuned and i will talk soon